Good morning, day 72 on the PCT. Just got dropped off at the trail. Uh, I was in the Kennedy Meadows North for the night. Decided not to take a zero. I'll wait until I get to South Lake Tahoe, which is in about 75 miles. And the uh, shuttle driver that brought us here said that he showed us where the old road for the uh, settlers that uh, settled out west during the gold rush in the 1800s where you can still see parts of the road and I guess uh, up off to the right where the trail's headed is uh, part of the Donner Pass trail or not Donner Pass but the Donner Trail uh, you know the party who uh, got stuck in a harsh winter and uh, resorted to cannibalism <laughs> so that's interesting but yeah onward to go section where I had to take off my pack. There's a dirt slide over there which is really steep so I can't even cross the top but pretty good the pack couple on hitting. I tied a line to it and just lowered my pack down so I could climb down this rock face. Yeah, it's a bit sketchy for this uh, early in the, in the day. Only uh, a couple miles in to get a late start. We're gonna start hiking until almost 10 o'clock today, so yeah. But still a really beautiful scenery behind me. It's getting really dark over by Sonora Pass. That's where I, uh, over that away is where I started today. Uh, looks like it might storm tonight, but where I'm at, where I'll be, it's much clearer sky, so maybe I'll luck out. But it's also been windy today, uh, but not too windy, just e enough where there's been no mosquito problems today. So that's been really great. Perfect like hiking weather. I'd say it's probably been in like the 60s today, so that's been really cool. I've got about another mile or so before I get to camp, so onward to camp. Well, I uh, made it to camp. It was uh, 18 miles today. I'm set up in this beautiful uh, pine forest. Um, overall, it was a good day. Um, we had about two and a half to three more days to get to Lake Tahoe. So uh, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you all have a good night. Good morning, day 73 on the PCT. Just getting started this morning. The sky this morning looks really cool. It's kind of dark, but I think the sun's popping through there a little bit. Just looks really cool. Uh, I think I got about 20 miles that I'm looking to do today um trying to do this stretch in like three and a half days at lake tahoe which would mean a little bit bigger day today and uh, possibly tomorrow so uh, onward we go Look at this cool tree. It looks like a oversized bonsai tree. Oh, pretty cool, pretty cool. I think I'm starting to get dizzy. <laughs> There's a lot of switchbacks in this section. They started from up top there and it's just going, you know, zigzagging, switchbacking down around, headed this way, 
and then it continues to wrap down around this hillside and I think it's gonna pop me out somewhere over there after probably like another hundred switchbacks or so <laughs> but uh Onward we go, I think of maybe another half hour or so. Well, I probably want to get to the bottom of stuff for lunch. Just crossed over Highway 4 at Ebbets Pass, and there was a big tent set up there. A guy named Chipmunk and uh, his friend, um, they're doing trail magic there. Apparently, they said they've been doing it for 11 years now. 11 years. They do it like couple times each hiker season and they do it like four days at a shot so they'll set up like all day long uh feed hikers during the day and then close up shop around five o'clock head into town to spend the night resupply and then come back the next day and do it for about four days at a time so thank you guys so much it was uh really good they had an electronic charging station i said uh like eggs with like chili on top and hash browns and bananas coffee soda a whole bunch of stuff so uh thanks guys really appreciate it that's a big rock right there holy cow So amazing up here. 360 degree view. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh boy. Trail cuts across the mountain. Looks pretty steep. It's a steepy. Well, I made it to camp a little bit ago. It was uh, 26 miles today. I think that leaves me about 31 miles to get to uh, South Lake Tahoe. So uh, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you all have a good night. Good morning. Day 74 on the PCT. It's already been a mosquito hell kind of morning. Uh, as soon as I open up my tent. The wind's blowing a little bit now, so it's a tiny bit better. Uh, I'm in a little bit of a dilemma. Um, apparently something changed within the past, uh, I'd say week and a half to two weeks. Since I uh, checked far out in the PCTA website, there's a new bear can restriction in place, which I'll hit today. So I think I can only go like 18 miles eight maybe 20 miles uh before that this section starts um so i'll do that and then leave me like 10 12 miles to get into south lake tahoe um tomorrow but yeah that restriction was not in place when i planned this trip nor uh i had checked when i was in the town of bishop and it wasn't there was nothing out about it at, at that time so apparently it's just happened within i don't know about the past week or two so uh see what happens uh, onward we go Back in the beautiful pine forests, up on that, that ridge line. Man, that's windy. Super, super windy. Uh, it was really hard to breathe. My heart rate was up to like 170 beats a minute. I had to like duck and cover myself for about five minutes just so 
focus on my breathing to get my heart rate down. Um, it was like 9,000 feet of elevation, but I don't think it was the elevation, just so windy. Uh, go back in the uh, pine forest. I do have a sketchy section coming up today over Carson Pass. Apparently a bad uh, snow traverse section. Um, I had one yesterday that really freaked me out. Kind of wish I didn't send home my ice spikes. Because these, uh, the, the boot tracks through these snow traverses now, because it's melted so much, they're just completely smoothed out. So they're actually a little bit more dangerous now than when there was like a lot of snow cover with a good boot track. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Onward we go. Starting my uh, climb up Carson Pass. I just took like a uh, hour lunch. I feel so completely whooped today. Uh, not looking forward to this climb because I'm so tired. I just want to get this climb over with down the other side and find a place to camp. And uh, I can't wait to get to town tomorrow. I'm probably going to take a couple days off. I just feel pretty pretty beat more than I should uh, the last like three to four down stops just haven't been restful enough for me and then on top of that I just been pushing myself to do extra miles so, combination of all those probably not the best recipe <laughs> so looking forward to a couple days off onward to uh, Carson Pass This is where the trail goes. Apparently that snow patch is like the sketchy area. I can see a person all the way up there. Yeah, see what it's like. Oh, glad to be over the sketchy part of Carson Pass. The first uh, snow traverse I went down below where the snow was at, climbed up the, like kind of like the rock slide to get on top. The two guys uh, behind me, they came across the snow. Second one, like, not no big deal, not a steep. It's gonna let her down for another few, few miles, maybe, I don't know, another two to five miles uh, before I get to camp. So, uh, onward we go. Just left the Carson Pass Visitor Center. I think it's Carson Pass Visitor Center. It was a visitor center with some very nice people. Uh, they have trail magic at the visitor center so i hung out there for a bit there were about four or five other hikers there so just getting back on the trail now to finish out the day go a few more miles so where'd we go oh this is pretty cool uh met up to where the p the pct and the trt the tahoe rim trail uh, intersect. Actually, they follow the same footpath. I forget for how many miles, but I, I want to say it's like the next somewhere around 50 miles. Maybe not that much. I don't really know the exact amount, but I was planning to hike the Tahoe Rim Trail last summer, but uh, due to health reasons, I had to cancel that trip. So it's yeah, it's nice to be on this this part of the trail what I wanted to do uh, last summer so onward uh, we go it's been this walk into like this beautiful meadow and pine forest area past couple miles so a couple more miles to camp Good morning, day uh, 75 on the PCT. Just got started this morning. I've got 10 miles to get to Echo Lake, <laughs> which uh, marks the official end of the Sierra for a PCT through hiker. Uh, so 
yeah i'm pretty uh proud and glad to uh be done with the sierra um it was one of my it was probably the section that i was most concerned about because of the snow and water crossings and i absolutely loved it it, it was a, a great time not the easiest um hiking but yeah probably the most beautiful hiking and places I've ever been to, so onward we go to Echo Lake. Not supposed to uh, text and drive at the same time. I guess the same could be true for uh, hiking and texting or searching, whatever. Been trying to, uh, I've got about five miles left to the Echo, I guess Echo Lake parking lot. Um, I've been trying to arrange a ride to pick me up, which I just found one. Someone camped at the parking head named Indy um who i think has through hiked the pct before uh, just arranged a ride with them uh to pick me up at 11 this morning and have been also been trying to search to find like a reasonably priced hotel when i checked a couple days ago things were really reasonable but headed into the weekend now so rates have really gone up so guess i'll wait till i get there to figure out the uh, hotel situation because now I've got oh, a couple hours to get to next to uh, five miles which shouldn't be a big deal but don't want to be late either so uh, onward we go oh, should be all set just got off the phone with my wife thanks babe love you she's uh, getting ready to mail up my next food box so and I'll be able to talk to her once I get situated in town a little bit more. Um, just got done booking a hotel for two nights. So I'm just taking one zero because of the cost in South Lake Tahoe is pretty expensive. <laughs> so uh, I'll just take, uh, I'll get there around 11, 11 o'clock. So I'll have the rest of the day to relax. And then, and then tomorrow I'm going to get back on trail the next day. And uh Meeting my good friend Monk for uh, for uh, lunch today, um, so that'll be good. And I've got going to the hostel there. To I'm not staying at the hostel, but that's where uh, my uh, other pack is waiting for me. So I'll switch out packs and then uh, mail this one home today. So yeah, things are looking up. Onward we go to town and get some food. Way off in the distance, you can see uh, Lake Tahoe down there. Wish I had a better view, but still looks beautiful. Good afternoon, it's uh, day 76 on the PCT. Um, I got into Lake Tahoe yesterday, so big thank you to Indy. Indy's hiking the PCT this year, um, but she took off a few weeks to let the snow melt. So she was camping in the Lake Tahoe area. So she gave me, uh, me and Rocket a ride into town yesterday. And now I'm at the Blue, Blue Lake Inn where I stayed last night and I'll stay tonight. I took a, a zero today, a day off today. I did run into my good friend Monk yesterday. We went out to dinner and I uh, picked up some permethrin, uh, which basically treats your clothes for like, I don't know, mosquitoes and ticks. Uh, this is my fourth treatment on this trip that I've done. So hopefully it helps out with the mosquitoes. And a huge thank you to my wife. Um, she sent my red paw packs here. That's the green and white pack I started out with. When I sent that pack home, it was like brown, maybe even black from <laughs> all the dirt in the desert. Uh, she did a great job cleaning it up. So thank you so much, babe. 
uh, miss and love you. Um, yeah, so I'm like all ready to go. I scheduled an Uber ride to take me back to uh, trail tomorrow. Um, so I got the desolation wilderness that I have to get through in one day because I'm not carrying a bear canister. So it'll be roughly around like a 25 to 27 mile day. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you all have a good night.